Hey, what's up, fellas and monsters, female fans? Steve Alicious here, and this is going to be a quick video today. And if you're like me and you enjoy using all of these older devices and even some not so older devices, then you might be having a problem with AT&T Wireless. And this is specifically for people who are on AT&T here in the United States. Now, they sent around those dreaded texts and emails saying that unsupported devices or non-supported devices are going to be sunset at the end of of this year and that you need to upgrade. But what I found, found out is happening is that a lot of devices that are perfectly capable of continuing on on the network, even after they sunset 3G, are getting knocked off. And there is a way to get them back on, but they don't make it easy. So I like to play around with a bunch of different devices. So I had taken a SIM out of my BlackBerry Passport, but you know what? There's only a few months left of BlackBerry 10 support. I wanted a SIM back in my BlackBerry, so I switched it out from another phone I was testing, put it in the BlackBerry Passport, and I got that text. I'm sorry, this is an unsupported device. It will not work, and that was it. I was not able to get data. I was able to text. Everything was done on the phone. I called up AT&T customer support. I called first, and I said, you know, because I'd had this problem previously. We talked about it on some of the older BlackBerry 3G devices that I just call them, I say, please unsuspend the line, and they go ahead and do it with the exception that at the end of the year, these aren't going to work anymore. But, but some of these devices do have support for voice over LTE. The problem is that AT&T had not provisioned a lot of these devices. In fact, people are having issues. I went on Reddit. A lot of people are having this problem. If you got a phone unlocked from Amazon, if you got something, it's an international version of a device. A lot of these are not provisioned and for whatever reason when you put an AT&T SIM in it, if it's not from AT&T and it's an unlocked device or it's a device it just doesn't like, it sometimes kicks it off. And if you call customer support like I did with the Passport, I gave them the IMEI, I gave them the ICC ID, I told them, hey listen, it has the LTE bands, it should be able to support it. They just told me flat out, no I'm sorry we're not supporting the BlackBerry Passport, it's just not going to work. So. I'm like, all right, well, maybe device support for the Passport ended early. But then I put it in my Xperia 1. And I'm like, that device is from the flagship from two years ago. I know this Xperia works. I know for a fact this Xperia should work. So then I started to question things. And that's when I found out on Reddit what was going on. And some of these unlocked devices, these Sony devices, even down to your Nokia Lumia, your 830 your 930 possibly, I'm not quite sure on that, but the Snapdragon 800 does have support that's in that. So you're going to have to do a little investigation for yourself to make sure that your phone is able to be on a voice over LTE network. But just don't take AT&T's word for it, even if you call customer support. So here's what you do. If you, get, if you put your SIM in a phone and AT&T says, nah, you're getting the text, not working, sorry, no good. Do what I did. You go on the AT&T website. Don't call customer service. They don't care. You can tell them anything you want about any of these devices. They're like, no, sorry, not going to happen. Get something that's going to be compatible. Go on the website. Log into your account. Go to like the phone plan section, something like that. Anything that gets you the chat box prompt. And then when you get the chat box prompt, go make sure you hit the selection for technical support and i'll tell you i sat on the phone with customer support for maybe 10 or 15 minutes trying to get this passport reactivated on the network and they jump were, were jumping up and down saying absolutely not possible no chance no way it's done but maybe five or ten minutes with tech support chat on the at&t website and i had this bad boy up and running again it's been working the entire day no problems voice text and data all over LTE it just needs to be provisioned and that's something that regular customer support probably just can't even do and they don't even want to be bothered with it they're going to put in an IMEI ask you what it is uh the BlackBerry Passport oh that's old don't care all this experience that's old it's not going to the Z3 Compact oh that's old doesn't matter these Windows phones I can promise you they're not going to want to deal with so you're going to have to do a little bit of the legwork yourself, but do not give up, especially. Listen, I understand if they want to sunset some of these older devices that are only 3G GSM by the end of the year. If they're starting to kick those off their network, 
It's a shame. I don't like it, but I get it. But products, actual devices that support this network that they're pushing us to, that they're kicking off, that I absolutely have a problem with. And just because they don't want to be bothered to have their servers provision them. Well, they can be provisioned, and I did it. So don't give up. Don't take no for an answer. If you got a text recently, especially on a device made after 2016, you should really have no issue getting some of these devices on the AT&T network and using them well into the future. I'm going to try this Lumia 830 next. I'm, I'm curious about that. I know a lot of people online saying it does support voice over LTE. There are bands on there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this one provision next. The Xperia Z3 Compact does have LTE bands, should have zero issues, especially Snapdragon 800 processor, does support the voice over LTE, shouldn't have an issue. The Xperia one, I was able to get that provision, no problem whatsoever. Uh, they did take a few minutes, but they eventually got a provision and no issues, even if you just put a SIM in it and it says, no, hold on, not supported. A lot of times you're going to get that on some of these unlocked devices. And even a Google Pixel, the original Google Pixel, a lot of times what happened with these devices, if you're getting them new, or if you're doing factory resets, the voice over LT functionality was added in a software patch later on. So make sure you do all your updates, then put your SIM in it, then go ahead and contact AT&T through technical support chat and get it provisioned. But the bottom line is here, if you have a relatively new device and AT&T is telling you it's not supported and you've called customer support and you said, well, hold on now, it's a newer device and they've still told you it's not supported, there's still one lifeline left. Do not give up. You could go to technical support chat. I have no idea why it's different. I can't take credit for this. Reddit found it out. No idea, but I can absolutely tell you that I'm two for two getting devices that they said wouldn't be supported, supported on the new and improved AT&T voice over LTE network. So these devices will be working into 2022. Well, the BlackBerry, we're not sure, but that's because BlackBerry, not because of AT&T, but definitely the Sony Xperia devices, and then we're going to try these Lumias next, but do not give up. And A lot of people, either you don't want to upgrade your phone, you like your phone. A lot of people on Reddit had newer devices unlocked that they got on Amazon that were being told were not supported. Don't fall for that. Don't buy it. If it has LTE bands and it was relatively new device, it should support voice over LTE, so make sure you fight for that and don't take no for an answer if your phone supports it. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve-licious day.